everybody. We are here with uh, Go To Hydroponics in my basement. Um, I'm gonna try to keep up with videos here. Try to like once a week posting, hopefully. So as long as since I'm on Christmas break from college, so let's get things started. So I know it looks kind of funny, but I had to change the coloring to make it look good for the camera because it's under a high pressure sodium right now. So these are my peas. Been growing for about over a little over a month and a half. Uh, probably almost two months, I would say. Got a few harvests off them. Uh, not too much to really fill you up, but like a fair amount, I would say. But they're getting super dense. I mean, I can't move them. They are like just seriously dense and big plants. They're still budding and blossoming at the top. I had a metal halide in here for about a month, and then they started blooming and stuff. So then I bumped it up to a hypertrophic sodium to hopefully get or increase more flowering. So. I uh, see him set up, we got my dripper set up going on. Let's check the roots. I actually haven't looked at them in a long time, so let's see what we got here. No, they're not even that big, but they are nice and white though, which I am a fan of. And another thing, as you see, I put a trellis down just so they didn't fall over. I kind of just set it on top of all of it, which kind of held these up so they could get a little more light out of it. Let's try looking at another bright plant, another plant here. You stick it on a little bit, nothing too ridiculous though, that's for sure. Yeah, I just cleaned the hydroponic reservoir out. Yes, that was over like a month and a half. It was kind of nasty and smelled. Uh, I wasn't really checking pH, I was just too busy doing finals and whatnot. But I was kept adding water and I kept adding nutrients and the thing, the plants were actually staying quite happy. So I finally changed it out. Should be a lot happier and they should be producing a lot more. So, hopefully we'll get some more off. I mean the pea pods are coming off, they're quite good size. Like these are some these are some empty pea pods of course, but they are nice pea pods. Um, some get pretty full, but yeah, like this one over here, that's a pretty big pea pod, and you get a fair amount of peas off of them. So yeah, you can actually do hydro. So this is gr growing peas all hydroponically. There is no soil whatsoever in this system, it's just rocks, dirt, and water. That's it. And I am using. The flora, flora. I'm using the General Hydroponics three-part system, so that's working out pretty well for me. It's fairly cheap, simple to use, and I'll check the pH every once in a while to make sure that's around where it should be. So, um, so yeah, going on. And, and another thing I have here is uh, the fan, of course. It just keeps air moving along these plants, so the 400 watt high-pressure sodium bulb does not burn them. And then as you see here, I have my ridiculously huge spider plant that's been sitting on this light for a while. Freaking thing is just massive, just keeps growing and growing and growing. There's a bunch of plants in here, of course, but still, the thing is fantastic. Um, another little experiment I'm trying to do is that I got some bulbs, cheap from Walmart. They had them on clearance or whatever, so I was like, well, hell, let's just throw them in a pot and see what happens. So this right here are orange tulips. So no, let's just see what happens. I'll let you guys. I'll keep you guys updated on that. So my next upcoming video, I will be hopefully. Well, was ah. Okay, so with my next upcoming video, my plan is to get all these peas out of here, put those house plants over here, get them growing so they're nice and big again because that light is not good enough for them. Um, the T5 one. I'm gonna put under back under metal halide. I want to change these out. Peas aren't. They're kind of getting old and straggly and whatnot. And then over here, I want to put sprouts out. I want to start sprouts because I got this light, this, or sprouts and microgreens. Um, winter time, so why not? What else grows? It's super cheap, simple, and quick. So within a week, you'll have food. It only costs a few bucks to do it, so that's my plan for this table. Once I throw all that over there, but yeah, that's. That's what we're looking at next, so I'll keep you guys updated.